Hello and welcome to your video about blogging. Okay, so to access your admin panel on WordPress, you type into the browser, whatever your web address is, forward slash WP admin, as shown up there. This is gonna lead you to this screen here for the login details. Click on login with username and password, which I'm sure you'll have to hand. You put your username or your email address in the top box, and then the bottom box, you put your password. Click login. And this will take you to your admin panel. Like many things, when you go on there, there's an awful lot of stuff on there that is really irrelevant for you, really. For the purpose of this session, we're just going to be talking about doing a blog post. And to access that, on the left-hand side, you have your margin here with all the links to the inner pages of your admin panel. So we're going to click on Posts. And this will take you to all the posts that you've already published, okay? So as you can see, the second one down there is a draft. So that's one that I wrote a couple of weeks ago, but I haven't published it as yet. So that just shows the draft. All the other ones have actually been published. So if you hover over each individual one, it gives you the different functions you can do. You can edit it, you can quick edit it, you can trash it, which means that obviously you put it into the bin, but you can always um, reinvigorate it if you want to at a later date or you can actually view the actual post to see what it looks like on the front end. So if for the purpose of this session, if you want to edit it, you click on the little edit button there. And here's all the information that's already been loaded. So you have your title, which goes in there. That's something, if you can, you put your keywords in there, but it's something that um, you want to try and make as interesting as possible to try and, to try and grab people's attention. The URL is under here. And that would be your web address forward slash the title that you put up there. If you want to edit it, you just click on edit and you can just add words in there using a dash to break up the different words. And then you click OK. This is the, the main body of your post. So here's all your, all your copy that's in there. You can edit it with this toolbar up here, a bit like on Microsoft Word. You can change the color. You can bold the text. On the right hand side here, you have your categories, so you'd normally preload those at the beginning when you have the website built. But if you so wish, if you get a new section that you want to add blog posts into, you can just add a new category by clicking on there, typing in the word, and click Add New Category. And the final thing that you have to do, scroll right to the bottom, and this way you put your featured image. So this is the image that will show on the blog page, and when they click on the actual individual blog post, this is the image that's going to show. Also, if you're going to post the blog post onto social media, this is the photograph that will show up with any social media posts. So to add a photograph, you just click on the box there. You can either use a picture that's already preloaded into your library, or if you so wish, you can click on Upload Files, and that will take you to your website files. Find it, upload it, and then click Set Featured Image. Okay, so just run through it again. You put your title in there. You put your main body into there. Then you do your category on the side. And then you do your featured post. Or your featured image, sorry. So it's quite straightforward. There's four areas to, to remember. And that is it. Just to show you on the right hand side here as well. So it has today's date on there, the published date. But if you so wish, if you've got something that you want to historically post, so it might be an event that happened a couple of years ago, you can just click on edit and you can change the date. You can go back two years. You can't go forward. If you go forward, then that will just schedule it to be delivered onto your website on that particular day. So you might want to maybe preload half a dozen blog posts, but you don't want them all to go on the site at the same time. And then you can just edit the actual dates that they go on there. You change the date click OK and that's it. Before you actually um, publish the post you can click on preview changes which shows you it in the live format on the website and if you're happy with it you then just click update and that is all that you have to do. So if you've got any questions as usual please WhatsApp or phone or email and we will get you sorted. Thank you very much and we'll see you soon.